Bond Bears got squeezed royally on Friday, and so much as your Bears did, uh, just looking at the, the, the net short position in 10-year Treasury bonds, that's still way too high at, at, at minus 134,579 net contracts. So again, definitely we reiterate our longer for, lower for longer view on U.S. interest rates, and we're definitely kicking the tires on sort of booking the view on the U.S. dollar, but not quite there yet. I reiterate we're not there yet. We're still bullish on the U.S. dollar in so much as the in intermediate term trend supports, but again, if you think about where the U.S. data is going and where the Fed might follow it to, that's definitely something that's at risk of reversing. And so and then lastly, let's just kick, off, kick the tires on what, what, is all the, what does a potential dollar reversal mean for U.S. stocks? So again, from an intermediate term perspective, if you look at the correlation math, the, the correlation between the U.S. dollar index and the S&P 500 index is positive uh, 0.73. So again, that, that's basically signaling to you that longer term, from an intermediate to long term perspective, U.S. growth expectations need to stabilize and strengthen for the market to go higher. The, obviously, the U.S. growth expectations stabilize and strengthen it will continue to perpetuate what we saw as a, a widening divergence between U.S. And, and Eurozone and Japanese monetary policy that was in favor of the U.S. dollar. But from an immediate term perspective, looking at the 30-day correlations, it's minus 0 0.7. So again, that's basically telling you that if, if U.S. growth expectations continue to fall, particularly at an accelerating rate, the Fed might get easier, the market will start to price in an easier Fed, and stocks could bounce just like commodities did and are doing this morning. Um, so again, if, if the dollar starts to reverse, three things will happen. U.S. interest rates will likely continue to fall as the, Fed, as the market and the Fed pushes out their dots on tightening. The U.S. dollar will obviously fall as, the, as this net short position in the euro and this sort of net long position in the U.S. dollar get consolidated and, and potentially reversed to some degree. And then, again, an easier Fed could likely perpetuate a bounce in commodities, a bounce in inflation expectations that could actually be positive on the margin for U.S. stocks, which is what the correlation math is signaling based on where we've seen earnings estimates and growth expectations come in the year to date. So again, let me just wrap that up by saying the only big macro call we're going to stay with here is our lower for longer thesis on U.S. interest rates. And then we're obviously kicking the tires on what may be a potential bearish, bullish to bearish reversal in the U.S. dollar. But again, not quite there yet. Definitely need to follow and see some more data and more uh, sort of confirmation in the, in, in the markets.